the headlines. President Ramnath Kovin inaugurates Manipur Sangai Festival 2017 with a glittering ceremony. President Ramnath Kovin inaugurates two-day Norris Development Summit at City Convention Center. And Corcom 26-hour general strike call in protest against President visit affect normal life in the state. Welcome to the ICB News and less of the news in details. President of India Ramnath Kovin arrived at the Imphal airport this afternoon. Governor Nasma A. Haptala, Chief Minister and Biran along with many dignitaries received the president at the airport. President Ramnath Kovin has inaugurated the Manipur Sangai Festival 2017 this evening with a glittering ceremony held at the Bhagachandra Open Air Theater. President Ramnath Kovin the First Lady of India, Samita Kovin, Governor Nasma A. Haptala, Union Minister of State for Tourism, Independent Charles K.Z. Alphonse, Chief Minister of Nagaland T.R. Jeliang, and Chief Minister Anne Biren graced the inaugural ceremony as the Chief Guest, Guest of Honor, and President, respectively. Inaugurating the Sangai Festival, the President lauded the rich cultural heritage, sports potential, and natural scenic beauty of Manipur. He said, Manipur is the window to the Southeast Asia and will become the most important role in India's Act East policy. Recalling the recent Under-17 FIFA World Cup football held in India, President Kovin said the Indian team had eight players from Manipur alone. He appreciated the fact that the captain Amarjit and goalkeeper Dhiras Morang team were Manipuri players whose performance in trial the whole people of India. Manipur Chief Minister Anne Biran said, this is the first time the Sangai Festival is being organized in a massive scale with teams from not less than 20 countries participating. He proposed a pan northeast tourism circuit for the northeastern state for which he wanted an MOU to be signed. Union Minister of Road Transport and Highway Nitin Gadkari, Union Minister of Commerce and Industry Suresh Prabhu, Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan, Chief Minister of Assam, Sarban and Sonowal, and Chief Minister of Nagaland, T.R. Jeliang, Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh, Pema Khandu, also attended the glittering inaugural function. <laughs> President Ramnath Kovin inaugurated the two-day Norris Development Summit at City Convention Center, Palace Compound today. Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nasma A. Haptula, Chief Minister Anne Biran, Union Minister of Commerce and Industry, Suresh Prabhu, Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Dharmendra Pradhan, Chief Minister of Assam, Sarbananda Sonowal, Chief Minister of Nagaland, T.R. Jeliang, Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh, Pema Khandu, Union Minister of State for Civil Aviation, Jayan Sinha, Union Tourism Minister of State for Tourism, K.Z. Alphonse, Vice President of NITI, IOC, Dr. Rajiv Kumar Sarma, Managing Director of Patanjali Ayurved Limited, Acharya Bal Krishna, UN President Coordinator Yuri Afansif, Minister of Civil Aviation and Tourism of Bangladesh, Rasit Khan Menon, were the main guests at the inaugural function. Chief Minister Anne Biran welcomed President of India as well as other dignitaries and honored with simple presentation. Chief Minister Anne Biran highlighted the work to be taken up by his government to draw the attention of people from different parts of the world. President of India Ramnath Kovin said the northeastern state have been misunderstood as frontier states in the past. But today the state have become the most important part of India with the potential the state have. These states have the oldest civilization. Development measures have been initiated to build close ties between India and East and Southeast Asia. An invitation has been sent to 10 Asian countries to attend the Republic Day of India. Government of India has also taken a various steps to reduce the gap between northeastern state with different parts of the country. These steps have been initiated considering that northeastern state are the gateway of Southeast Asia. Process of constructing highway connecting three countries, Thailand, Myanmar and India is underway. Efforts are also being made to promote tourism in views of the huge potential available in the states. It is believed that the summit will largely benefit the northeastern state of India, President added. I am happy to be here at the inauguration of the Northeast Development Summit. I am sure the summit will take enlightened and actionable decisions on the development of the Northeast, not just from a 
domestic Indian perspective, but also in the context of the neighborhood. After all, if you consider the hundreds and thousands of years of civilization, far from being a frontier, the Northeast has been at the heart of Indian imagination. And if you take South Asia and Southeast Asia as a continuum, as it has been perceived for most of history, then the Northeast is right in the middle of it. The Northeast is an amazing social and cultural ecosystem. Few regions of the world have such a wealth of cultural, ethnic and religious diversity packed into such a small area. This variety is an inspiration for all of us. Speaking on the occasion, Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nasma Ahabdullah said, healthcare was the first priority she gave after she had taken charge as state's governor. Manipur will soon have flying dispensaries with the efforts being put up by the government. Governor also opined that the Nordic state being landlocked states, it would be appropriate to take up the initiative in other Nordic states as well. Governor Nasma Ahabdullah also added that Nordic would be the nearest hub to Southeast Asian nations if world-class connectivity can be provided to the region. Launching digital classroom can boost education sector. Governor further assured that Kerala is known as God-gifted land. However, it would not be wrong to say Norris is known as God on paradise. Governor also wished that the summit give enormous benefit and brings all-round development in the Norris region. And with the help of the Union Skill Development Ministry, we are planning to train young people in various areas like tourism, hospitality, sports, textile, pottery, cane and bamboo craft, stone carving, block painting, hand embroidery, tribal arts and crafts, and there's very soon. But all this cannot happen. We have to have the PPP model and I'm happy that the Chief Minister of Manipur has organized this business summit that will help us to get people to come forward to fulfill our dream. Union Civil Aviation Minister Jayan Sinha said, ever since the BJP came to power in India, it began taking its step forward to improve connectivity with an objective of bringing about a new revolution in the nation. Bearing fruits of its untiring efforts, the center has been able to develop more airports across the nation, making the total number of airports in India to 100. Earlier, there were only 75 airports across the country. What's more, the government of India is developing 19 more airports in the northeast region of India very soon. Besides aero service in which plants can land on water surface and seven new helipads will be developed soon. Moreover, direct infall to Delhi flight service is settled to begin from 1st January. Various development works relating to connectivity is being taken up in the region in view of developing the whole nation with the development of Norris region. Again and again, to say that Imphal needs a direct flight to Delhi. And I'm very pleased to announce today that we will shortly have a direct flight from Imphal to Delhi. We will be starting this flight from January 1st. It will be an Air India flight. And we will start with two days a week, but our intent is to make it daily as soon as possible. As soon as the demand picks up, we'll go from two to three days, and then from there on to a daily flight. So we are determined to do that, and hopefully that will improve connectivity uh, for Imphal. Chief Minister Anne Biren today inaugurated the newly constructed Manipur Trade and Expo Center at Lamboy Kongangkong. The center was constructed under the aegis of Handloom and Textile, Commerce and Industry Department. Minister of Commerce and Industries T.S. Bishwajit, Rajya Sabha MP K.S.S. Bhavananda, Chairman of Manitko Dr. Radhesham and Chief Secretary R.R. Rasmi also attended the inaugural function of the Trade and Expo Center. The new Trade and Expo Center is one of the main venues of Shanghai Festival 2017. Various stalls of the Shanghai Festival were also inaugurated with the opening of the center today. Addressing the gathering at the inaugural function, T.S. Bishwajit further said, it's a dream come true to organize Norris David Summit and to inaugurate Threat and Expo Center within such a short time in the state. It's the biggest achievement of the new government. Industrialization is one of the important factors that make a place develop, he said. 
ಅಕ್ಕೋನ ವಾಕಂದ ಜು ಕಲ್ಲುದಬ ಅದು ಕರಂ ಮುಕಾಂದ ಮಸಿಗಿ ಪೋತೋಕ್ಸಿ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಮೇಯಾಮದ ಕಚಿ ನಗದಗೆ ಅದುಗ ಕರಂ ಮಮತಂದ ಐಕೋಗಿ ಲೈರಿಬ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಕಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಕಿ ಲೈರಿಬ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಕರಂ ಕಾಂದ ಮಪುಂ ಫಾನ ಉತ್ಪಂಗ ಅಂಗದಗೆ ಹೈನ ಕಲ್ಲಂಬ ಕೋನೋ ಮ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಮಂಗ್ಲಾಂದು ಹಂದಕಿ ಸಂಗಾಯ ಹೈವ ಪೋಸಿನ ಅಕ್ಕೋಬ ಪೋಟ ಅಮ ಪುರೆ ಹೈನ ಐ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಒನ್ ಥಮಜಗನೆ ಮರಂದಿ ಸಂಗಾಯ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ಸಿನಿ ಮರಂ ಓರಗ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಲೈರಿಬ ಅಂಗಸಿಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಎಂತ ಸಿ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಕೌದು ಅಂಗದ್ರ ಹನ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಪಾನರಂಬದು ಸಿ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿಗೆ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಅಕನ್ ಬಮಿಯೆ ಅದು ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಪುನಃ ಮಕ್ಕಿ ಲೈರಿಬ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಲೈರಿಬ ಮಿಯೋಜಿಂಗಿಗೆ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಲಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಖಾದ ಪುನಃ ಮಂಗನ ಹೊಂದ ಮಿನರಗ ಅಕ್ಕೋಗಿ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಬಹು ಗೌದನ ನವೆಂಬರ್ ಲೋಯ್ ಬಂಗಂಬಜೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ Meanwhile, 26 hours general strike called by Corcom an amalgamation of various insurgent outfits to boycott the visit of President Ramnath Kovin has crippled normal life in the state today. The general strike began at 6 in the morning and will continue till 8 a.m. tomorrow. Major markets in the state including Imam Market, Pauna Bazaar, Thangal Bazaar and other markets in the Valley District were a deserted look. All business establishment and educational institute remain closed. Gor- Government office recorded very less attendance than usual. Passenger service vehicles, including inter-district service, stayed off the roads. In the meantime, task security measures are being taken up to prevent any unwanted incident during the president's stays in the state. In connection with the Shanghai Festival, an art camp was held as part of the second international art camp at Kangla in Imphal today. The camp was jointly organized by the Norris Brothers Entertainment Private Limited and the Department of Tourism. Business Development Manager Bipin Chandra Ahantem said many artists from outside the state are taking part in the art camp. The camp was organized to promote Manipur tourism. The Shanghai Festival is part of the Shanghai Festival. It is a very important part of the art tourism. It is a very important part of the art Manipur ama di India ki tourism sector si da hiya na develop tau na ba chao khalak na ba ho na ba da si ki art tourism si achao ba ma tiang ama laak na ba ki da mukta a si gomba kiem si sinja ba ni. Those participating in the art camp said they could see various natural products in Manipur state. The natural beauty of the state is unique. Good because of in nature, nature yesterday we visit national park it's very great wow. great great to nature fresh air oh i I'm, i'm feeling good uh oh. manipur is very beautiful first time uh, i come in with visit in manipur i'm love it it really is a, the other india change <laughs> because is the, the people all the smile helpful and is the organization uh, national organization very very professional the istv network is going to telecast the various programs which will be held during the 10 days sangai festival live at different venues in imphal and at kaibul namjao national park moyang The various programs include cultural programs at Bhaiga Chandra Open Air Theater, Meet the Star at Hapta Kangjebung, Interface organized by Film Forum Manipur at MSFDS, Entertainment program at Tamna Sangai Lamboy Kongnangkong, Sangai Star Night at Manipur Trade and Expo Center, Cultural Dance Performance, Folk Music etc. at Takmu, and Polo Match to be held at Mapal Kangjebung on November 22nd and 29th. Let's take a short break. As part of Manipur Sangai Festival, Manipur Tourism Department and Forest Department are jointly organizing various entertainment program at the habitats of Sangai, Kaibul Lamjao. Fest and Parrot along with musical program was organized last night. Mud watering cuisine and attractive stall are being sown as part of the festival. Police personnel under the guidance of OC City Police Sudhir conducted cleanest drive at Nambul River. The drive was conducted for the second time. As opined by a person, one of the major reasons for pollution of Nambul River is solid waste thrown from the market and people residing near the river. Even though Mahud Department promises to make Imphal City neat and clean, Nambul River is becoming polluted day by day. Di solap ama boleh ite, mau sahaja ki wayang kaya area sisa, akui ki hana dekik, akui ki solap ama leh rambo do 
kerjumah kudung cahaya bakar lagi, aku lagi mang sajen kibud lagi. Lautu kibun amar moyaga emergency wayna atap udah ilai basing gaya dek umah ga emergency upaya leter nama pan thoksen bakong nung nama pan thoksen dokhsen meam tauri besi. Masih na hel hajar orang dengan macam susu ke amal ayat dunia aku ini ngasih kudung cahaya besi. Lautu raga sekarang api lama kata orang ni mudah di yarga di thong manak swai sesudah kerjumah public toilet kumba public urinal kumba kara Kan tau bila kita di amna, apa boleh kan ni hanya nasi sesuatu. Manipur Police and Integrity Council, a program called See the Place and Meet the People, in collaboration with Homi Research Guild Manipur, was held at Makhel Village in Senapati District. President of Mapi Council N Bimol Mite, Secretary of Homi Research Guild Manipur M Singlai, Chief of Makhel Village N Siliu and member of Makhel Village Authority, a Makabo, attended the program. Legal awareness program in connection with National Legal Service Campaign was held at Langtabal Kunja Awanglikai Community Hall. The program was jointly organized by District Legal Service Authority, Imphal West and Legal Ed Clinic, Haurai B, under the sponsorship of Manipur State Legal Service Authority, Imphal. Many people, including eminent personalities in the field of law, attended the program. District Governor of Lions Club International District 322D, Lions Radha Agarwal, met with Lions and Leos of Lions Club Taubal. District Governor was warmly welcomed by the Lions Club Taubal at Lions Service Center, Ketri Sanglin. First District Governor Lions Haismani Kumar, President of Lions Club Taubal, Lions O. Ibomcha, and Secretary Lions M. Navachandra were the main guests at the program. Senior citizens have to wait for one to two hours at OPD ticket counter at RIMS since it has only one counter. As a result, senior citizens have been facing great difficulty in trying to get ticket from RIMS ticket counter for treatment. Patients have opined of the need to set up at least two ticket counters. They appeal to the authority concerned to look into the difficulty of the senior citizens at the earliest. Wife of Maisnam Pritam has refuted the allegation against her husband that he tried to kill Kongjom Parva singer Sundari by stabbing her on November 18 around 7 p.m. at Palace Compound as completely false and unfounded. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club, Maisnam Ongbi Chanchan said her husband did not use any fatal weapons on that day during the incident. <laughs> Asum orang tiri riba mayamna mayam puna mukim mayai lagi asum mana kerano orang mana kerano hai bodoh ani muk mayak sumna yang biraga tidur biraga aduh dah warak watiam tau bi bodoh aku ini mayai lagi guna cian bersu cian jeroi asum orang ani muk tidur biraga wayam bi bicar tau bi wahai na ayna hajar. SBI Regional Business Office Infal under SBI Corporate Social Responsibility today distributed gift to the inmate of this destitute children home located at Terra. Chief General Manager of SBI Notice Cycle Circle, PVSLN Murti, General Manager of SBI Network to Dikmanu Gupta, among others, were present during the visit to the home. CGM Murti stated that SBI will continue to give gifts to the future too. Here, I have represented in under 14 in the football. That is really great. If you want individually sponsor them for any of the coaches, you can talk to our people. We can definitely support those children who have got special talent. And we are and always support you in all your future endeavors. Salai Holding Private Limited Company today distributed sports kits to the players of Salai Crip KRYPSA Women's Football Club who will take part in the qualifying match of Indian Indian Women's Football League to be held from November 25 to December 8 at Kolhapur at a function held at office of the company. Chairman of the company Naringbam Samarjit, Vice President of the club Ahong Sambam Rupavan attended the occasion. Naringbam Samarjit stated that 20,000 rupees will also be given to each player if the team qualifies. With heart and soul, Sanagadabani, Ichal Singh Sina, I Lixida Satlaga, my Papa, Yet another journalist was killed in Tripura on Tuesday noon, the second in two months. Sudip Dutta Bhomik was allegedly shot by a Jawan of the second Tripura State Rifles TSR at RK Nagar, about 20 km from Agartala. Nandagopal Riang, the TSR constable, has been arrested by the police. 
The incident occurred two months after another journalist, Santanu Bhomik, was killed by a mob allegedly in the presence of the police at Mandai, about 40 kilometers from Agartala. He, Sandip Sudip, that the Bhomik was sought by one rifleman, Nandar Young, inside the 2nd Battalion Tripura State Rifles headquarters following some arguments. While a forensic team has visited the spot, post-mortem examination of the deceased has been conducted on camera. Abhijit Saptarsi, SP of the Western District, informed news agency from Agartala. The SP also said that while investigation was underway, other details including what had actually transpired leading to the constable firing upon Bhomik was still under investigation. The constable has been detained, he added. The top story once again. President Ramnath Kovin inaugurates Manipur Sangai Festival 2017 with a glittering ceremony. President Ramnath Kovin inaugurates two-day Notice Development Summit at City Convention Centre. And Corcom 26-hour general strike call in protest against President visit affects normal life in the state. That's all for tonight and thank you for joining with us.